I think this is probably the most requested video that I have had in a while. And after a lot of comments, here we are. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the history and meaning of the Serbian flag. Today, the flag of Serbia looks like this. A tricolor flag, red, blue, and white, with the national coat of arms on the center left. Now we're going to get to this flag and see what the colors mean and what the coat of arm represents. But first, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at how the flag has evolved throughout time. So let's rewind a few hundred years and see what the flag of Serbia or the equivalent state slash territory was at the time. Now, what I think we can consider as the first version of the Serbian state is the Principality of Serbia, which existed in the 8th century. Since this region was ruled by the Byzantine Empire, at some times having a certain degree of autonomy, the Principality of Serbia at this time had no flag, but it did have a symbol associated with it, the emblem or seal of Prince Stroimir. It has a patriarchal cross in the center and around it the words in Greek which say God help Stroimir. So this initial symbol was, I guess, related to Christianity and to the Byzantine Empire. The next significant stage in the formation of the Serbian state was the creation of the Kingdom of Serbia. The kingdom existed from 1217 to 1346 and it is in it that we see the first flags which represented Serbia as a nation. The first one was this, a bicolor red and blue flag, adopted around 1281. But it is somewhat speculation, since there are no records depicting the flag. The oldest known drawing of a Serbian flag is from the 1339 map made by a man called Angelino Dulcet. This one, a yellowish background with a double-headed orange eagle. Although it makes more sense that it was a red eagle on a white field and then the colors just faded. And this eagle flag is likely to be the first actual flag of Serbia as a nation. It depicted what seems to be the first coat of arms of Serbia, very similar to the current one. It was the coat of arms of the Nemanjic dynasty, a double-headed white eagle. Generally, the double-headed eagle is associated with the concept of an empire. Most modern uses of the symbol are directly or indirectly associated with its use by the Roman Byzantine Empire. So the choice of the Nemanjic dynasty of using the double-headed eagle might be related to the Byzantine Empire and the fact that the region belonged to it. After this came the Serbian Empire, only lasting from 1346 to 1371 and keeping a similar flag to the previous one, a yellow field with a red double-headed eagle. There was also an imperial banner during this time, a purple square with a yellow cross in its center, representing the emperor. The coat of arms remained the same because it was still the same dynasty. After 1371, the empire came to an end, due to many reasons, one of them being the Ottoman invasion, and its region separated into smaller states. The one which seems to have maintained the most Serbian identity was Moravian Serbia, keeping some of the Serbian symbols in use. Here we can see the original dynasty shield surrounded by what I assume is a dragon with a Christian cross and a knight's helm topped with horns. In 1402, the Serbian state continued to exist in a different form through the Serbian despotate, keeping the Serbian eagle as the symbol of its coat of arms, adding what seems to be blowhorns and a somewhat tired look on the eagle. The despotate existed from 1402 to 1459, being conquered by the Ottomans and placed under their rule for the next few hundred years. So, for about three to four centuries, the flags flying over the territory of Serbia would be the flags of the Ottomans. There were, however, a few exceptions. Due to a lot of conflicts between the Habsburgs and the Ottomans, for a few periods, the region of Serbia was occupied by the Austrians. Being so, the Serbian territory temporarily flew these two flags, depicting a boar on a white shield. They have a meaning which we'll talk about in a second. 
Eventually, the Ottomans took the regions back and restored their own flags. Then, everything changed in 1815 with the return of a new principality of Serbia. It was created as a result of the Serbian revolution against the Ottomans. And during this revolution, the Serbs used a series of flags to represent themselves, which contained both old and new Serbian symbols. And these are a few of them. This one, for instance, shows a gathering of two coats of arms, the Serbian cross and the Tribalian boar, the same one used in the Habsburg occupied Serbia flags that we just saw. Apparently this symbol had been used already during medieval Serbia. A boar with an arrow in its head or mouth represented the Serbian people or region during medieval times, including Byzantine rule. A fun fact about this specific flag was that it was eventually adopted as the local flag of a town called Topola in Serbia. The revolution was successful and the principality of Serbia was re-established. Lasting from 1815 to 1882, it introduced a new flag, a tricolor red, blue and white flag as well as a new coat of arms. This new coat of arms had a few embellishments, but the most important part is the shield in its center, the Serbian cross. It shows a red shield bearing a white cross with a Cyrillic C in each corner. The letters are popularly thought to mean Samo Sloga Srbina Spazava, which means only unity will save the Serbs. These four Cyrillic Cs on a shield were symbols used during the revolution against the Ottomans, so I think that might be where they emerged. The Russians were big supporters of the revolt against the Ottomans, so maybe the color choice had to do with that, to signify their alignment with a nation which had a common enemy, the Ottomans. A popular tale tells a story of a Serbian envoy traveling to Russia to seek support for their fight for independence, which he got then being invited to participate in a Russian parade as a representative of Serbia. He was handed a Russian flag which he flipped upside down, and it then became the Serbian flag. But honestly, this seems a little too simple and somewhat made up. Especially because, as we saw earlier, the Serbians had maybe already used red and blue and white to represent themselves. So it might just be the fact that they gathered their national colors and maybe some Russian influence, but not just flipping the Russian flag upside down. Eventually, these colors became known as the Pan-Slavic colors, and they were used by many other Slavic countries in Europe, especially during the revolutionary movements of the mid-1800s. In 1882, the recently re-independent Serbia consolidated its freedom by re-establishing the Kingdom of Serbia. The flag stayed the same, but the coat of arms was added in its center. And the coat of arms itself was sort of changed, adding the white double-headed eagle, which represented the first Serbian dynasty, and had been accepted as a general symbol of the nation. The kingdom lasted until 1918, and after World War I, it was incorporated into what would be known as Yugoslavia, using a similar flag, but being part of a gathering of many nations. I won't get too much into Yugoslavia's flags because we've seen them in other videos, but to sum it up, as a kingdom, Yugoslavia flew a blue, white and red flag, and after World War II, it became a socialist republic, changing the flag to bear a red star in its center instead of the coat of arms. With the end of Yugoslavia, Serbia went back to being an independent nation. For a while, it flew the same flag minus the red star, but the most recent version of the flag was adopted in 2010, and it looks exactly the same as that of the Kingdom of Serbia, except the coat of arms is simplified and is now aligned to the left instead of the center. They also have a Orion flag which doesn't display the coat of arms, only being a tricolor horizontal striped flag. So this is the current flag of Serbia, red, blue and white, the colors used throughout its history. 
These pan-Slavic colors represent the revolutionary ideas of sovereignty, although meanings associated to the colors are, as we know, highly debatable. Some people say that the red represents the blood shed during the struggle for freedom, the blue, the clear sky, and the white represents light. The coat of arms maintains the red shield with the four Cyrillic C's, meaning only unity will save the Serbs, although this is a popular meaning attributed to it and might not be 100% accurate, as well as displaying historic dynasty symbols of Serbia, a white double-headed crowned eagle and a fleur-de-lis on each side of the eagle. Inside Serbia, its institutions use variants of this flag, like the flag of the Serbian Armed Forces or the Presidential Flag. Its many districts and municipalities also use their own flags or coat of arms, like the municipality of Rubas, Irig, Zenta or the capital city of Belgrade. Throughout the surrounding region, a lot of other countries used the same pan-Slavic colors in their flags, like Croatia, the Czech Republic, Slovakia or Slovenia. And that was a brief overlook at the history and meaning of the flag of Serbia. How it evolved throughout times, stretching from the medieval ages to current days. And how its symbols have developed throughout history, always representing the Serbian people. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment with any corrections, suggestions, or additional information that you might have. And I will see you next time for more general knowledge.